The first ever International Viking Futsal Cup gets underway tomorrow here in Christchurch with teams from Australia, the Philippines and China. Futsal is a sport that is gaining in popularity here in Christchurch. Futsal's five-a-side indoor soccer, generally played on basketball court size, but for this tournament we've got international size court, so it's running the length of the width of two basketball courts. And it's really big in Brazil, it's massive over in Brazil, and it's growing bigger here. The rules are similar to the outdoor game, with minor differences. We've got five-a-side, it's a lot faster, the ball we use doesn't bounce as much, has low bounce, and a smaller court as well. Still have outs, don't have throw-ins. This tournament has drawn a lot of interest, and teams have been arriving all week. We've got women's teams coming from North Australia, South Australia, the Philippines, and New Zealand team. Men, we have New Zealand team, Chengdu from China, South Queensland, Victoria, North Queensland, and a barbarian side, which is sort of mixed from around Australia. Hosting this tournament is an honour for Christchurch. Yes, it's, it's pretty big for Christchurch. be the biggest tournament we've run so far. Hoping to run it annually. Hopefully have some more interest next year from USA. We've already had interest from USA and other countries that are keen to come over and join. The futsal tournament kicks off tomorrow and runs over the weekend at QE2 Stadium. Samuel Gibb, Today in Canterbury. International futsal is here. Over the next three days, New Zealand is competing against several international teams to take home the Viking Futsal Cup. This weekend marks the inaugural Viking Futsal Cup. Teams are coming to New Zealand from great distances, such as the Philippines and from places closer to home, such as Australia. They will compete over the next three days at the QE2 Stadium. Futsal is the only official form of indoor football recognized by the FIFA, the International Federation of Association Football. While the game is played in over 100 countries worldwide by over 12 million people, futsal is not a household name. Last night, Paul Wadsworth, CEO of Viking Futsal New Zealand, welcomed the competitors, noting the sacrifices made by the players to be here for the inaugural cup. Futsal's not blessed with money. We had uh, all the players here today have had to dig deep into their own pockets, one, to get here, and two, make this happen. And for that, I thank them. It shows they have real passion for the sport. They've given up their time and, and obviously their expense to come over here and play in what I hope will be a fantastic tournament. The game originated in Uruguay in 1930. The name is derived from the Spanish or Portuguese word for football and the French or Spanish word for indoor. Futsal is played between two teams of five players each, one of which is the goalie. The game is played with a smaller, less bouncy ball in a hard court, whose boundaries are determined by lines, not walls or boards. The small court and hard ball requires its players to rely on improvisation, creativity and technique. The game is credited with developing the skills of some of the football's greatest players. Next year, teams from Thailand and the United States hope to compete in the tournament. In the meantime, this year's competition is underway at QE2 Stadium. Caroline Hallbrunner, Today in Canterbury.